What's up guys, it's Greg, and in this video I'm going to show you how to have a logo on one page of your website using Elementor, but maybe not have that logo or have a different logo on other pages if you might want to make a landing page or something like that. We're using the Ocean WP theme here, and we created this whole website in our just our Elementor website tutorial, so I'll give you a link to that beneath the video if you want to make the whole website. Let's look at the settings though here, because it's going to be important for you to know what's going on. So we just have a basic WordPress page, you know, new page is how it was made. And then I've chosen the Elementor full width template, which is a lot like the default template. It just stretches a few more things, gets rid of any pesky sidebars. And then down beneath, we see we get our Ocean WP settings. We get these Ocean WP settings because, of course, we're using Ocean WP theme, but also because we have Elementor full width selected. If you chose Canvas or landing page, it basically gets rid of anything Ocean WP would do. Let's check it out if we chose Canvas and updated it. What's going to happen is the header goes away and all you really see is anything you created inside Elementor on that particular page. This is all just Elementor page builder content, including the custom footer we made in Elementor. And of course we made that all on our page just by clicking edit with Elementor. Now let's go back to the full width. The reason I totally love doing the full width and using the Ocean WP settings is because that gives me a structure for the header for individual pages. So using the Ocean WP settings, we can make this logo different on this specific page. We can also make the header transparent just on this specific page or change things like the menu font and the menu color just for individual pages. I like that flexibility. You can accomplish all that in Ocean WP settings by clicking on, for example, header, and there you change it to transparent. We can see we also have the header enabled here, which is just making it show up and we've disabled the top bar. Top bar is kind of irrelevant, but good to know that we got rid of it if you want to recreate this. And then we can see in logo, we don't have a logo. So that logo is just falling back to what we have in appearance customized setup. We put our logo in right there. It's that nice little uh, star snowflake thing. We also have menu, really nothing much going on here. It's just falling back to our menu from appearance menus. And in uh, title, we've disabled it and in main we've gone with full width default and no margins all right those are basically the only changes we made on this page if you want to do it yourself so obviously using this structure with the ocean wp settings combined with elementor we can just go to header and disable the header and we'll get the same effect as if we were using our elementor canvas basically that just takes the ocean wp header out of the picture cool okay so we could also get that header back just by going to header, enable, and then we can go to logo, add an image, and create a unique logo for this page. We don't have a ton. Maybe we chose the kittens, set image, update. And now this individual page would just have its own unique logo. So it's pretty cool, but what if you want to just make the logo something totally different and get rid of the structure of the header here? which as we know is basically dictated by these Ocean WP settings. We could remove our logo and we can go to header, disable it, update the page. And now what you'd want to do is just click edit with Elementor. So what you can do now is just add more content on top of your background video or your background image, whatever you have here. For example, we can take this subtext area and duplicate it. And then we can just put in a logo instead of having that text and drag it around. Let's add media and let's try our gray star Instagram and post. Now I'm just gonna click on it and center that bad boy and then we're just gonna make the logo smaller with a little simple drag and drop. Now all you need to do is just like click on the pencil and drag it into position. Of course you might want it higher or lower or lefter or righter. You can accomplish that in advanced, click advanced Let's unlink those margin values so we can make them individual. And let's just try giving that a little bit of spacing. It is annoying how the zero kind of takes priority, isn't it? But using a little negative margin, you can move your image up, for example. There we go. And then you can also move the other stuff down just by adding some padding below the image. All right, so maybe a little more. 
and that could basically get the job done. It's not perfect, but this would basically be the method of making a landing page with the custom logo that I would go with if I were you. That way you keep the video background, you know, covering the whole top of the screen, but you can move things around on top of the image, like your messages, your headlines, all that. Maybe you want a button. All that is definitely possible now with Elementor. And yeah, I know you guys are gonna say, uh, make sure to update it. Obviously I need to be reminded of that a lot. And you're gonna say in dashboard, you might wanna just choose landing page. Go for it if you want. I really just don't know like what exactly the purpose of that is because we could just make it using our same Elementor full width structure. I like learning one structure and just keeping it, but you know, if you wanna do the landing page option, that's pretty cool too. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to drop any questions you still have in the comments. Please hit the like button if you learned anything here and subscribe for more free WordPress help. I'm Greg Nernayan. I'll see you next time.